awesome writer review. Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here with a review of TK Series 03, uh, Common Rider Drive Type Wild. So the last, uh, fi last thing in this line was a tire set, and this one is an actual figure of Drive's second form, Type Wild. Sounds repetitive since I just said it, which is easily my favorite form right now. I think it looks absolutely badass. Um, but let's go ahead and take a quick look at the packaging, because yes, um, here is a blank space where the figure was. Fascinating. Um, tire coke on it shows a tire that comes with it. You get a little picture of the figure, uh, shows you how the gimmick works and all that stuff, um, shows you other things in the line, advertises, you know, the other sets, how they can all work together, uh, try to run, it shows type wild, um, and it shows the stuff it comes with, like the sword, um, it shows that it can use the, uh, uh, other tire cocons, all that stuff, so pretty typical fare. So obviously in addition to what you get uh, with him, or I mean, obviously in addition to getting him, I meant to say, you get two things. You get the rumble dump tire, uh, which has a little drill on it, which you can take off because you can put it on his arm. Um, which you can take off, and then of course it doesn't want to come off right when I say it, but yeah. Um, it's a pretty basic tire, I mean, like without the... Uh, um, weapon on it, it's pretty boring looking actually, uh, at least I think so, um, but the, it does add a lot uh, different to it, a lot of difference to it when you have the little drill on it, and then of course you get the handle can, the sword, uh, which can be used for either drive form, which it's pretty basic, you just got a basically black um, handle, and then the blade here is so sort of this blue color. At least it's not entirely one color, but yeah, pretty basic. Uh, you can turn the handle there, which is nice. Turn your handle! But yeah, that's that. Um, now let's go ahead and take a look at the figure itself, which I think looks pretty good. As I've mentioned these last few years, um, I think they've really improved the gimmick line in terms of looking good, and I think the drive figures are no exception. Exception, yep. Dawson are smart. Um, I think the head sculpt is really well done. I think they do a really good job of um, replicating that headlight look, and I think that the figure won't be able to do too much better, actually. They did a really solid job here. Um, the color is obviously black, so it's pretty hard to mess that up, but it all looks good, I think. It's got a nice shine to it. Uh, this head sculpt looks good. Uh, the colors all here look good. Uh, the driver's pretty basic, as per usual, with these, and the cars here aren't painted, which isn't, you know, out of the realm of the expected. Uh, but everything else, I think, looks pretty solid on it. I really like the way it looks. I think it's a very uh, good shelf piece. I really don't feel like it's overly cheap. The only really uh, detail, the only real detail, excuse me, that sticks out, I think, is the, um, you know, non-painted driver. I'm sure the figure art will look better, but I think, as of right now, I think this is a pretty great substitute. Uh, the tire over here, the tire change happened on his shoulder, which is something unique to drive, is that all of his forms, he's one of those riders where all of his forms look different, almost as if they could be completely different riders, uh, which is cool. You know, obviously, while taking the same certain stylistic choices, I mean, I could definitely see this being a different rider. But what's cool about him is that his uh, different forms have the tire changes on different arms, or different areas. So in this case, he has a shoulder one, which this is the Type Wild tire, which is pretty much just a boring tire, it just says Type Wild. Um, but you can put any other tire there you want. Um, here's Funky Spike, which is from Tire Set 2. So you can put any of the tires from any of the sets on it, they're fully compatible. Um, it, pre it pretty much works, I think. Like, in the show, I feel like, unless I'm completely not thinking about it right, but the tire appears a little bit smaller on his shoulder, you know, because otherwise it would be pretty large compared to the sash one. But here, I think that the tires of the toys, excuse me, um, are a pretty good, like, in-between of uh, the larger size and the smaller size, allowing you to um, use it for both, which I think works well. Uh, so you can put the rumble dump here on the side with the drill right there, uh, and then you can also take it off. There we go. And uh, you can put it in his hand like this if you want to, and you can be like... I'm not gonna, why isn't he holding it? His little fingers aren't grasping onto it. Good enough! And then he can be like, Digma, the drill of knowledge. Okay, it's the drill of power, but knowledge made it sound cooler. So you can do that. You could take it off and give it to other drive if you wanted. Um, all that good stuff. Um, when you spin it... Wow. There you go. Let me put it back on there. There you go. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I was going to switch him back and just show... Um, you can spin his little... Uh, what you call it too? You can spin his little drill. And let me just quickly show off, because I completely forgot to. There's a little cap to that. The articulation for this guy. 
So um, pretty standard, exactly what, uh, you know, regular drive was type speed. Uh, you got this sort of little ball hinge joint here. And what's actually really neat is that these kind of retract and, and, uh, and repel, I guess. Um, I don't know. Uh, but for whatever articulation you need, which I think is really nice. Um, swiveling here at the arm, uh, single elbow joint here. You got those little finger joints, which are super stiff on this guy for some reason. Um, but yeah, you got the dual finger joints here. Um, waist articulation, you got a pretty nice little ball joint on the head for some solid movement. He's a smidge hindered by his larger head size and then this tire over here, um, but nothing too major. Uh, 360 little ball joint here, swiveling, double knee joint here. Got the little ball joint on his leg. So pretty well articulated. I, if you watch all these reviews, I probably sound like a broken record, but I always say a good way to describe it is like a mix between a 5-inch Power Rangers figure and a figure art in terms of articulation. It's like right in between the two. Just real quick, it's not really much of anything, but here he is next to Type Speed. Um, but yeah, I think he's a really good figure. I really like him. I think uh, this whole line so far has had really good looking figures. I think they're really solid stand-in figures. I think um, Type Wild looks good. He's well articulated. He looks good on the shelf. Um, he adds more playability to the tires. I mean, these tires on their own are pretty bland, but if you have other sets, you can do more uh, tire coke -ons. So yeah, I can definitely recommend him if you're a fan of Driver Type Wild. I think he's a good figure, whether you're looking for a, a cheaper shelf representation or something to add playability to uh, the TK collection you have. But anyway, that's about it. Until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at writersrangerrambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, this is Dawson Ryder, signing out.